Hey, what's up everyone? Thanks for tuning in. In this video, I'm going to talk about the silent but deadly and slow killer, uh, probably used as a part of the depopulation program. And right here I have proof. Um, you know, it may cause in not so severe cases, headaches, brain fog. In severe cases, it can cause cancer, DNA damage, and so forth. So what we're looking at is electrosmog detector and it measures EMF waves produced by cell phone towers, smart meters, cell phones, Wi-Fi and so forth. Radio frequency waves and a uh, frequency of 200 megahertz to 8 gigahertz. So I'm gonna put this thing to the ultimate test because we're here. Let's turn the sound on and um, as you may know you want it to be at zero. It's already elevated at one volts per meter which is already kind of elevated, but we're gonna go to a cell phone tower and see what happens. Okay, hear that? What we have right there. Cell phone tower, right above a daycare center. Wow, and it just shut down. It just shut down on me. The thing is probably so strong. So that cell phone tower is right above a daycare center where kids go to school, spend most of their time, most of their day at. That's right, it's a daycare center. You can hear the nice music playing, but right above that is a cell phone tower. And that's crazy. In other countries, this would be illegal. So let's measure this. Turn this on. Okay, so it's in the amber to red zone. We're not facing it right now. I'm gonna turn the sound on. Let's face this thing up. Oh, you can hear the alarm going off. It's right there, we're facing it. So 6.0 is almost illegal in Russia and China. In America, there's a different standard where things like that is unfortunately illegal. Yeah, so you definitely don't want to spend most of your day underneath that cell phone tower because that's slowly killing your DNA, causing DNA damage, it can cause brain cancer, all kinds of, any kind of disease, autoimmune disease. So this is a really high reading, folks, and you cannot see it unless you know about these things, unless you have the detector. Look at that, it's going off. Oh, that's not good. I shouldn't be standing here for too long. Um, it's really sad. It's uh, in Honolulu. Underneath it is also a community center, Marini Mini Community Center. So this is not good, folks. Slowly killing uh, innocent children with electromagnetic frequencies. Look at that. Can you hear that? So ways to avoid EMFs is basically leaving the city. You gotta leave the city, go to a forest away from cell phone towers, go to the beach away from cell phone towers, away from other people with cell phones, away from Wi-Fi. Um, but this is the highest reading I've seen. I've been testing all over Honolulu. You know, usually it's in the 0.1 to 0.3 range. This is kind of normal. My bedroom is 0.1 to 0.3 range. That's volts per meter again. But 6.0 is the first time, first time I see that reading. And no doubt, that's the cell phone tower producing it. And right below, there's a daycare center. It's a shame. A shame, shame, shame. So the only way to hear these things is to get something like this, electrosmog detector, EMF detector, and you gotta make sure it's on the right frequency. This one is 200 megahertz to 8 gigahertz. Thanks for tuning in, I'll catch you next time and be safe.